On Paddington's platform number eight, a little more pomp and ceremony than the 11.32 to Bristol would normally merit. But then it's not every day that the Princess Royal unveils a name as extraordinary as this one. Adette Hallows, a French citizen and UK spy who worked behind enemy lines in France, helping to sabotage the Nazis. The Gestapo caught and brutally interrogated Adette, but her family say she survived both solitary confinement and even the removal of her toenails with remarkable composure. Whenever she was summoned to the prison commandant, she would carry her shoes in her hand because she was so painful to wear her shoes. And just before she went into his office, she would put them on. And she'd walk in with her head held high. You should be more careful, you see. Her exploits really eventually immortalized in film. He's Peter Churchill, and he is a relation of the Prime Minister of England. But Odette, seen in the middle here, mixing with royalty at the premiere, had been just an ordinary mother from Somerset. She later described what she told the war office when they first got in touch. You've got the wrong person altogether. I don't want to go. I have my children and they come before anything else. And I am not capable of, any, um, of doing anything there. They said, no, of course not, not as you are. But, you know, we would train you. It was this very railway line that would have carried her to London, where she joined almost 40 other agents. There are 16 symbols beneath her name, one for each agent that didn't make it home. In honour of every woman who served, today the 1132 ran with a female-only crew. It's 25 years since Odette died, but her spirit and sacrifice will not fade away. Rachel Younger, News at 10, Paddington.